Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the WCW Saturday Night Review Series for October the 2nd, 1993. We are quickly approaching the end of the 93 editions, which means that we have less in this series available than before. 92 and 93 were pretty complete. Uh, beyond that, it's very spotty to say the very least. In any event, there is an interview with Yoshi Kwan and... Uh, Harley Race. Basically, the basic idea there is that uh, Harley Race is promising that Cactus Jack, among others, will be taken care of. Obviously, Yoshi Kwan has, in fact, been um, dealing with Cactus for a while now. Sid comes out, and Sid is still managed by Colonel Parker. Uh, Buddy Ryan is the opponent for Sid, which is not good for Mr. Ryan, as Sid completely overpowers him, including a one-handed joke slam. And among other things, Sid is very dominant at this time. The turn to get him to um, take on Vader is beginning a little bit, but not fully there. Parker still on the outside with Sid and a power bomb later, and obviously Sid is victorious. There we move quickly into highlights from Fall Brawl '93. Flair versus Rude. Flair walks away. Still the I guess you'd say uh, the world champion uh, uh, for a moment. It appears that way, but Root hits him with some brass knuckles and gets a victory. Root is now your world champion. Root sits down, and uh, they have designated this not the NWA title anymore, but Root emphasizes that it is in, in fact still a world championship, and he is happy with that. Uh Singles match for Steve Austin is up next here. And uh, enhancement match for Austin. Austin beginning to break off and go into his singles run towards the U.S. championship, among other things. Um, the enhancement talent he's working with, they do some basic stuff. Uh, Austin manages to come down off the top or off the... Uh, second rope on the inside, Pez Watley, who is the enhancement talent, manages to go quite a bit with Austin. Austin manages to want to talk about being one of the best in the world and kind of moving towards a singles run. Uh, back chin lock and other things by Austin. Austin not wanting to take backward steps by any stretch of the imagination. Austin again cranking on his... Adversary Colonel Parker comes out and offers Austin a contract. Austin doesn't really care about that as long as uh, he can continue to further his career. Cactus Jack has a promo about Halloween Havoc, talks about the uh, nature of getting rid of Vader once and for all, becoming world champion along the way. Flair, in a business suit, talks about uh, wanting the what is known as the World Championship back from Rick Rude, but I don't know that the match ever happens. I don't think they ever have. I know they don't have another pay-per-view match. I don't know if they even have another match somewhere down the road. Anyway, Rip Rogers and Yoshi Kwan. Rogers kicking away at his opponent pretty aggressively. Kwan, the martial artist, with Harley Race, manages to get more success with kicks and other such things roll through by Quan. Quan hits a couple of martial arts chops, some leg sweeps, and some kicks. Actually, not Rip Rogers, but in fact, um, uh, Chick Donovan is the opponent here. The reason I say Rogers is because he and Donovan do look somewhat similar along the way here. Flying clothesline by uh, um Quan as the adversary. Quan gone by early in 94, which I don't think is necessarily good for business. Quan does get a quick victory here, though, and manages to go forward uh, pretty aggressively. Another sit-down interview with the Shocked Master, a.k.a. Uncle Fred, sitting with kids and hanging out with them, playing with balloons, and then knocking things over. The idea is that Uncle Fred is a lovable, bumbling idiot, and that is that. Um, Missy Hyatt alongside the Nasty Boys. Nasty Boys need, I guess, a little bit of extra oomph in their push uh, there. Um, and Nasty Boys are facing off against Roma and Anderson here in early October. 
Um, the Nasty Boys becoming Tag Team Champions not too terribly long ago. Obviously giving a rematch. This is your main event uh, match in a short d version of a program just running under 44 minutes. Uh, Brian Knobs tackling Paul Roma. Roma eventually turning heel within the next couple of months here, getting away from the Horseman deal. So the Horseman deal really, if you think about it, only lasted about six months for Roma, which it's amazing that there's that much negativity towards a six-month run, but there does ex exist or seem to be exactly that. Anyway, in the event of uh, all that is, Brian Knobs hooking up with his opponent pretty assertively aggressively here and uh we see anderson hit a couple of back elbow shots taking uh ryan Nobbs to the outside wrapping the legs around the post trying to get uh, some baby face leverage there doesn't really happen because honestly i think at this point the horseman thing is baby faces really just kind of failed and they're I wouldn't say they're dropping away from it, but they're certainly reducing down from it. Um, Anderson tries to stay on the leg of one of the Nasty Boys for the next several minutes. Mean meanwhile, they go back to the outside. Uh, Anderson goes shoulder first into the post, and then Brian Nobbs works over the arm and wrist and shoulder of Anderson, using the guardrail as an offensive weapon there. Uh, we then get... The Nasty Boys double-teaming on Anderson. Anderson taking the majority of punishment throughout, mainly because A, he's a better seller, and B, I think there's more sympathy on, on Anderson as a babyface at this point than Paul Roma. Maybe that's part of the issue there. Snap over by uh, the Nasty Boys, and again, they remain on Anderson for the next little while, trying to get hammerlock submissions and other arm-based submissions. Uh, Anderson comes back around, hits the inverted DDT, almost like a scorpion death drop that Sting later uses with about two minutes left in the program, and that is interesting just because, you know, going that far. We see a tag off to Roma. Roma tries to clean house, but the Nasty Boys overpower him a little bit, all four guys in the ring for the next little while. Anderson hits a spine buster. Spine hits the pine, and, uh... Then we see uh, a top rope splash from Roma, but a use of a weapon by Jerry Sags, who rolls out, and uh, Nobbs comes in and gets the pin, becoming the tag team champions here in WCW in 1993. That's that, and we will move towards the next um, installment. Until next time, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.